Good morning, folks. This is Jacob Folds, your artist sculptor. And today, I think we're going to make a little tree. And uh, I'm going to show you my tools as I work because I don't really use a lot of them. And, uh, you know, uh, so I'll just show you as I go, I think. And I am rolling a noodle of clay. And I'm going to put it on this little mound here. <laughs> and I've got another piece here. I'm just going to add it on there like that. Now, this clay is called Marblex. It's uh, a self-hardening kind of clay. <laughs> and I'm just kind of getting the uh, tree formed here a little bit. It's nice to have a like a flat surface you can work on. I'm just gonna add a little bit of clay here. branches at the top and uh, just one way to do that is to take a piece of clay like this uh, I kind of fold it in half and just I kind of add it let's <laughs> add a bit of clay here to strengthen it Kind of strengthen the branches a little bit. <laughs> Add a little bit more here. I'm going to roll another newer clay like this, fold it like that, and just stick it right in here. Play with that a little bit. I'm going to add some clay here to the stock of the tree. And <laughs> this clay is uh, it is very sturdy, uh, so it's uh, easy to sculpt because it, it does stand up on its own. It doesn't need to be. Uh, supported with uh, anything inside of it and you wouldn't want to do that anyways because the clay shrinks when it dries and that is why sometimes when you're sculpting with air dry or self-hardening clay uh, it will crack and that's that's why it cracks it's because it shrinks and if there's a rigid uh, you know thing inside like an armature um it will uh dry, when it dries it'll shrink and crack around that <clears throat> i'm just adding clay to kind of strengthen the branches Add 
add more to that as we go. Now, what I like to do every once in a while is take a little bit of water and let another bigger brush fill. I just wet it, wet your surface, uh, wet your work area, I mean your clay, and uh, you want to keep it moist. You can also, if you have a, a mister. And also wet your clay that you're working, you know, working with. If you have a spray mister, you can do that. <laughs> but you want to probably do that every 10 or 15 minutes and you know, wet the clay a little bit. <laughs> You also uh, maybe wipe off your hands every once in a while, your fingers, and keep them fairly clean. I'd like to have like a little little clay and just add a branch. Kind of enjoying this, like the uh, way this is kind of sculpted, like that. With that, just I like, kind of like this little bit here is really kind of nice. And I'm gonna bring down kind of uh, some roots here. <laughs> The thing is, really, is just try to take your time because, I mean, there is no rush, really. So I look at it from, from all directions. Add a little root here, maybe. Sculpting in boots. <laughs> you know, be patient with yourself because, you know, your fingers are not going to work quite the same as mine. And the reason why is because I sculpt a lot, and I have a lot of experience.
So, uh, yeah, you want to be patient with yourself. Take your time. You also want to use your fingers as much as possible. <laughs> don't don't get in the habit of like, you know, counting on the tools to create for you because it's uh, <laughs> your fingers are just really great tools, and uh, they will adapt. I mean, if you use them and practice. Uh, your fingers will become very comfortable with sculpting, more than likely. Now, I think, uh, before I get really far here, I am going to make this a wisdom tree, which is something I'd like to do. It's kind of a thing of mine, which I haven't actually made in a while. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my fingers my thumbs, like this, and I'm going to press in to the clay, which forms a little shape of the beginning of the eyes and the bridge of the nose. Let me see how I get that. I'm going to take a little bit of clay like this, a so no, uh, little new clay. And I'm going to add it here to the nose. <laughs> Just blend it in. <clears throat> Let me take a little ball tool and make a little indentation there for the eye socket. And if I spin this, it helps to stop uh, suction from forming, and it will pull out easier by spinning it like that. I'm gonna take a little new, a little ball of clay like this. I'm going to set it in there, and if it works, if it fits, I'm going to set it on the table and make one the same size. That's a little big. Make some clay off. Roll it again. That looks pretty good. So let's try that. I just put the uh, eyeballs in there like that. And then, let's see if I have, I take the back end of the paintbrush, the handle, and I'm just going to make a little pupil there. It adds a little whimsy if you have them looking like it. Another direction is straight on, you know? <laughs> now what you can do is take a little tiny noodle of clay, like this, and put it on above the eye like that. <laughs> and blend it in a little bit at the top. <laughs> Like that. I'll roll another new clay right there. 
like that and put that on the other side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what I do here is I just take the back of the brush here. I'm just going to go back up under there and push the pupil up underneath the uh, eyelid that I just put in. You see that? Then I'm going to take a uh, little play like like this. And I'm going to add it right here. <laughs> and I feel like a little mustache. <laughs> well, I gotta just form it a little bit. Kind of give it some life. <laughs> I think what I want to do actually is <clears throat> a little bit of a beard, so I'm just gonna put this up under here. <laughs> like that. This clay, when it dries, it becomes very, very durable, very hard. And you can finish it any a number of ways, painting it, whatever. I have a, uh, a playlist of uh, um, finishes, faux finishes, like bronze and verdigris and stuff like that. Here are some examples. And they're very beautiful finishes. They're fairly easy to do. And uh, I have tutorials on my channel. And I will put a playlist in the video description down below the video that will show how to do these finishes and you can go there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of strengthen this here a little bit just adding a little bit of clay and Working these uh, little branches and <clears throat> adding another branch here, a little shoot. And, you know, sometimes when you, like, the roots out, like, a little bit. It adds more depth to the tree. It makes it look 
more aged. If it's, you know, kind of these gnarly roots, gnarled roots, I should say. No, not gnarly, gnarled. <laughs> you can put, like, a, a, I call it, like, a shoulder, like that. <laughs> Let's see. Shoulder on it. Um, If you have really, you know, really uh, small or really skinny little suits, you might want to reinforce them, just beef them up by adding a little bit of clay. And just add a little, little noodles of clay and just add little suits to the roots. Shoulder here, and down the root here. <laughs> Don't be afraid to uh, to sculpt like this, where you're just adding little bits of clay and. Yeah. It will come to you if you if you practice. So practicing is really key for you. For you to have success with this, and you will have success if you practice. Because I mean, just if you go through the sculptures on my uh, all the tutorials, most of the sculpture tutorials, you'll see in the comments you'll see how many people have learned doing this. You know this uh, type of uh, sculpting. What I like to do is like any places, see that little gap there, where the uh, the eyelid joins the top of the head there, you want to blend that, you don't want those little gaps there. Same thing on this side. Take a little bit of clay like this. <laughs> and put in like a little eyebrow. <laughs> And 
had to you know, just be patient with it. <laughs> I think that worked. <laughs> Oh, he's fun. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> Just adding little shoots, uh, to the roots and now it'd be a good time to maybe take a um, wood sculpting tool or you can get use plastic sculpting tools uh, and start adding texture to the branches and You know, I'm supporting that with my finger, so it's not moving all around. <laughs> kind of creating like the texture for the bark of the tree. <laughs> you know, I gotta think of who would like a, this wisdom tree. <laughs> Maybe give it to him for Christmas. Do some texture to the hair, the hair on the uh, eyebrows. <laughs> I'm gonna take his his mustache. See that? I'm gonna go right below there and put a little line in there. That just kind of makes it more believable. Yeah. And then adding texture to the mustache. And to the beard. I think this one especially would look really awesome with uh, like a nice bronze finish on it. Definitely gonna go back in and do some more root work here. <laughs> so working on these branches. <laughs> I 
And uh, definitely, you know, let you work. Because if you don't do that, it'll get hard on you and you won't be able to sculpt it. And you'll get really frustrated and you'll give up. <laughs> don't give up. <laughs> Keep your work wet. <laughs> and uh, wet the, also wet your clay that you're working from. Keep it wet. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, this tool. Another wood sculpting tool. And I'm just going to maybe... Draw in some texture in the face. Uh, <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is kind of go back over the tree and just sort of work on that texture a little bit. <laughs> You can see he's kind of like, a, he's got, it's kind of, he's not like jacked straight up and down. You know, trees aren't like that. They're, they move around a little bit, you know, like. And, you know, your your branches may be very rough. Um, but, you know, when you when you go in to add, uh, put in your texture, um, that texture will, will cover a lot of those imperfections, you know. up these branches because sometimes they're it's really uh, too thin or what have you. <laughs> I'll go in and texture that. Now I'm going to just uh, spend some time on it. I'll probably have to take like a half hour and just go and add texture and that sort of thing. And I'll come back. I probably won't do any more root work without you here present.
Okay, I've got a lot of the texture worked on. I just, you know, using this tool mostly in, you know, drawing in or sculpting in little lines, carving in little lines. Like that. And then as I, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> uh, what I'll do is as I'm going to kind of finish up, I'll start, like, carving around at the base, you know, here, where the roots uh, join my work surface. <coughs> Pardon me. And I'll just kind of clean it up. Still working on uh, the texture a little bit. <laughs> and then what I'll do is you uh, you can find these wires. I, you'll find these in the art supply store. It's a wire cutting tool, clay cutting tool. You put it behind it, like here, on the base. See, and you hold it to it to the base with your fingers, and just draw it towards yourself <laughs> like this and that will release it from the base and you can just pick it up and you can you know fix your fix your roots the way you want make sure that they're joined well see that gap in the bottom here you don't want that you want to fill that in And then maybe if it's, if the roots are kind of thin, you might want to add a little bit of clay to kind of get them, um, you know, built up a little bit so they're not really just so, fun, you know, tiny like that. And then go back and add your texture. <laughs> and then you can set it back on the base. Okay, we're back and we're going to prime the, uh, little sculpture and I'm using a GAC 100 uh, made by Golden and it's a primer but you can use other products uh, I didn't need that much Lord have mercy I just put totally too much but I can pour it back it doesn't take much um, but you can use other types of primers uh, you know this this product is a little bit expensive, and, um, you know, some people uh, might have trouble getting it, maybe if they're from another country than other than the U.S., and so, you know, you could use varnish, uh, other forms of primers, um, paint, uh, you know, all kinds of things, really. Well, but it's a, it's a good thing, a good idea to prime it because uh, the uh, finish will look a lot better uh, if you do. Mm -hmm. uh, so go around and give it a good coat. Now we'll take uh, maybe half hour for that to dry, for the primer to dry, and then the next step is to paint it black. And uh, you really got to work it in to all the detail. And you're going to want to do probably two or three coats. And and, and when you're painting it, you want to move it around. Uh, look at it from different directions. So that you cover every little bit of the white or gray clay. <laughs> So take your time and go around and do that, and we'll come back. Okay, we're back, and uh, we have our tree, wisdom tree, uh, painted black. And now we're going to use Pearl X pigments, and we're going to use two colors. We're going to use Reflex Violet and uh, Antique Bronze. And uh, we're also going to use uh, the GAC 100. I've got a little lid here. 
but you could also, again, you could use varnish or lacquer or there's a lot of things you could use. Anything that's clear, you know. And what you can do is take a little bit of this. Doesn't take much. Push them in the lid like that. And then get some of the DAC or whatever you're using on your brush. You can dip it right into the powder like that and paint it on. <laughs> It's a really pretty color. And, you know, painting it black first is going to really make the uh, the color, you know, really stand out. Uh, a lot more than if you, you know, put it on over white. It wouldn't work the same at all. I mean, it's a fantasy tree, right? So it should be uh, kind of different colors, right? <laughs> Maybe not the same as a regular tree. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So I'm going to paint the whole tree with the purple like that. <laughs> oh! A little spill. <laughs> and we'll come back. Okay, we got our little wisdom tree painted purple. And now we're going to do something that's really just gorgeous. I'm going to be using a fan brush. You can use any paintbrush, but I just think this will go a little bit better for me. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of acrylic on there. i dab it off on my table. And then I'm going to dip into the bronze like that. Get the bronze in the lid. And then I'm going to dab that kind of, and just get it subdued. And then I'm just going to highlight the tree, just lightly brushing it. It's very pretty. It's kind of like dry brushing it, really. I'm not trying to cover the purple. I'm just trying to highlight it. <laughs> it's a gorgeous finish, really gorgeous. And I have shown it a little bit of my dragons on the channel. Um, but this is really the first time I've shown this finish exactly like this. I've never done it like this. Actually, never did it like this before. This is, I mean, you have to experiment. You have an artist, you're going to experiment. And, you know, try different things. And you learn, and that's, that's how you learn, really. Uh, one of the ways to learn, anyways. So I'm just, you know, lightly touching it. And it's really quite pretty. And then when that dries, you can do a coat or two of whatever you're using for that to apply the bronze. <clears throat> this, uh, this, you know, the acrylic, you know, GSC 100 dries actually very quickly. <laughs> That's really pretty, huh? So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I have about uh, 500, I think 540 tutorials on my channel. Um, and, uh, I'm trying to add to it, uh, and, you know, I put up interesting content all the time. I do a lot of fantasy stuff and animals and all kinds of things. You have to look, look on the, you know, look at some of the playlists and, um, yeah. So if you make one of these, please send me a picture of it because I really would like to see what you're doing with my tutorials. It makes a, a big difference to me. And the con my contact information will be down below the video in the video description. And, uh, yeah. 
Um, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel, give the bell icon a click uh, so you can get a notification when I upload. And please give the video a like, share it with your friends, leave me a comment or question in the comment section, and I will reply. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support, and have a great day. Bye-bye.